Welcome back guys. So we've just bought another project and it is an R50 Mini, not the Cooper S. Some quality door stickers that I absolutely hate, they'll have to come off. Inside is a typical R50 Cooper. So I actually had the R53 a while, a good few years ago. The R53's Cooper S which was quite fun, a bit rattly. I had the sat nav in the middle. I'm not I don't particularly like it up there, but oh well. We're also missing the grab handles. Oh no, you saw that that's missing. Couple of trim pieces missing, nothing too bad. Um, showing the boot. The incredibly huge boot. <laughs> oh, you get the boot. Yeah. You can try and get in there, one. You might as well just try. I've got a tab, otherwise I would. Well, you just stick out. You're not going to get in anyway. How do you know? I've got you in won't. the Beamer boot. Yeah, the Beamer's a bit bigger. Fucking hell, it's not room, is it? As you can see, it's I ain't getting out. I, <laughs> pull me out. Pull me out. <laughs> we can almost get him in. Yeah, you could probably uh, murder somebody. Yeah, you won't get them in the boot though. <laughs> the half leather interior. Yeah. Quite tidy. <coughs> I don't really like the stripes. Here we are. Um. How about the coolant is? It's like that I've been changing the lot. Coolant looks like diarrhea. It was alright. Seems okay. The brake fluids. Never done shit. Shit. <laughs> well, that's it then. It's like it's black. As I say, it's a project. There is one thing wrong with the car, as in, it might be the gearbox or just the gear linkage that's knackered. It makes a wonderful noise when you try and get it into first gear. As Jake will demonstrate. When you depress the clutch, it goes quiet. Oh, I thought the revs were moving there. Nice first gear. Handbrake. Sometimes first gear works fine. Oh, there we are. <laughs> nice air grind. Oh, suck them. Tony seems to be first, that seems to be uh, the issue. See, no, it's fine. It's weird. But if I just take it out of gear. I don't know. So, yes, we don't know. Gearbox, clutch, linkages. So, anyway, despite its apparent faults, we paid, paid 400 quid for it. 450 for it. Was it? Something around those lines. So yes. There's a clock there, that's insane. What a spot, a spot to put a clock. Have a look. I mean, obviously anybody that knows minutes will know, but still, that's incredible. I don't remember mine having one. So yeah, for 400 quid or 450, we bought a Mini with a gearbox issue. So do you think a Mini is worth it in 2018? It's 2002, so it's 16 years old. So as for the plan for the Mini, I forgot what the plan was. So the plan is to fix the gearbox or the clutch or the linkages and then remove the stupid stickers because no one needs to know it's a mini from the side. <laughs> and then the Cooper. Yeah. The P roll. Not the best while it's wet, but you need to mop though, come on right off. And that's about it. We'll just use it as a runaround. So, oh, I don't like the steering wheel either. So for a 16 year old car, it's only done 73,000 miles in its life. 
The steering wheel is the awful two spoke thing. I can't stand them. I had the three spoke in mine, it looks much better. Could in theory change it to a six speed, but I don't think it's worth it. Well done. So, yes, the gearbox is about 200 quid. There's one local. We need a new rubber thing, that's why my foot's slipping off. Look, that's missing. If we're changing the box, we'll put stage one in. It's too soft, I don't like soft clutches. It's got 116 brake. Yeah, but I like a, I like a, a solid feeling robust clutch. In fact, that's one thing we need to talk. We need a heat gun to get that uh, shit off. Around here, there used to be a Evo style wind. Uh, called shark fin, don't they? Shark fin things. And it's got some weird indestructible glue on there that don't come off. Okay. Any suggestions? Not that anybody will even watch. Yeah, no one's watching anyway. <laughs> and the best car in the fleet. You see how warm it is there now? 19 degrees. I can feel the heat. I can feel it. Feel the glass. Shit. So I've taken the interior out to get the carpets out. We found quite a big puddle. Two puddles. And now we're heating the interior to dry it out. But on the whole, it's all right. Well, I expected like holes and and shit. <laughs> it's a bit damp though. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm pleased with that. We're gonna have to try it out now. Yeah. Still a bit damp, but it's it's drier than it was when uh, before we put that in. So yeah. Sunroof still needs doing. If you cannot tell, it's green, not silver. And the seal don't seal, so it still leaks. So that puddle will probably be back if it's taken out in the rain. You can feel the heat on the window. And that's about it. Yeah, that's sloth garage. <laughs> Very small sloth garage. And my name's Martin. <laughs>